All right, this is one last midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Autonauts. Today, we're going to work on the forestry line. So for the forestry line, let's go ahead and create a group and we'll call it forestry. And for forestry, we're going to need a bunch of bots. We're going to need one bot that chops down trees. We're going to need one bot that digs holes. We're going to need another bot that plants the trees. We're going to need a bot that stores our logs and we're going to need a bot that stores our seeds. So we're going to need a total of five bots. So let's go ahead and build up five bots. Now, since we have one bot building the tools, we can, we can make three different types of tools. Now we have one bot building the picks. Why don't we go ahead and have other bots build the axes and the shovels that way we're set for later on. For, for when we use the axes and shovels when we're doing the forestry production line. So let's go ahead and code those up. They're very similar to the pick production. Each one of these are just a stone and a stick to make the item. And we can copy this same code concept to do this. Let's go ahead and make an ax. The only difference is, is that uh, this is gonna be the workbench that we're checking on to see if it's full or not. So we're gonna bring over a stick. We're going to bring over a stone. It's going to make the axe. We're going to tell it to do three axes at a time. And we want to do this until this bench is full. And then we want to do it forever. So it'll stop if the bench is full. And then in this internal one, it'll stop when it's uh, produced three axes. And since the bench already has an item on there, it's not going to produce any more until this item gets picked up. We can also do the same for the, uh, what is it's called, a spade. So we'll call it a spade maker. Let's go ahead and pick up a stick and a stone. Let's go ahead and make this three times. We want to do this until that particular workbench is filled. Oops. And then we want to do it forever. Pink. Okay, so we have our picks. Axe and spade maker, they're automatically going to make these tools when they need to have them. So if somebody runs out of a tool, they're going to come pick it up and it's just going to make another one or it's actually going to wait for it to get empty and then make three. Just in case we have multiple people using the same tool and we will have multiple bots using the same tool. So it's good to have, you know, a couple of these going. There's no need to have them in storage, but this is another way that you could do storage for the for the tools. All right, I've completed my five bots. Let's go ahead and start automating this whole process here. So I want a tree cutter. And we might have multiple of these guys. So we're gonna call it zero one. And what I wanna do is I wanna pick up an ax. And I wanna do that until my hands are full. So once I pick up that ax, I wanna do something else. And what I wanna do with that ax is I wanna go ahead and I wanna chop down a tree. And we're going to do that until our hands are empty, which means the axe is broken. And we want to do that forever. Now I'm going to save that code. I'm not going to do anything with it just yet. Let's expand out the area, working area. I want the working area to be something like this. And I'm going to dig out these grass areas so that we can have them as a planting area. So let's go ahead and just stop this code for now. We're going to have to do a couple other things before we get too far involved, and that is we're going to need to build up these pallets. I'm going to need somebody to store the logs, so let's get a pallet that will hold logs. Let's go ahead and get that complete. All right, the pallet is complete. Let's go ahead and put down something that will hold the tree seeds because I'm going to want to replant the trees. All right, we don't want to have our trees run out. We want to be able to replant our seeds, so let's get this crate built really fast. All right, the storage for the tree seeds is now complete. So let's go ahead and take our next bot and let's call this tree seed storage. And let's have him pick up seeds in a radius and drop them off into the seed storage. So we're gonna do this until our hands are full. And we're gonna expand this radius out. Let's move it over. And let's move it up. So it's going to gather anything in that area. And we're going to 
move over to the the storage and when and we're gonna do this until our hands are empty we're gonna drop the seeds into the storage and we're gonna do this forever right now we can probably say only do it until the storage is full and that kind of makes sense so let's go ahead and say until this storage is full and then do that forever so that's gonna go off it's gonna go pick up the seeds I did that seeds first because I wanted to make sure that I grabbed all the seeds in the area before we started building the other bots to do their thing. So now we have our tree cutter and our seed storage working. Let's go ahead and do our log storage and let's program our log storage guy. And we're going to say in a radius, pick up logs and put them into log storage. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do that until our hands are full. We're going to expand out the radius. We're just going to move it around and move it over, up and over, where our cutting area is going to be, and one above our cutting area, because sometimes logs can fall outside of our cutting area. And we're going to move over to log storage, and we're going to empty our hands, and we're going to add to our log storage. We're going to do that until the log storage is filled. And we're going to do that forever. Okay, so it'll go and it'll pick up logs. We turned that on already. Now let's go ahead and turn on our tree cutter since we have somebody storing the seeds and somebody storing the logs. So let's go ahead and turn on our tree cutter. He's going to go grab an axe and he's going to start his cutting process. Once the log falls, the log guy should go pick up the log. The seed guy should go pick up a seed if there was a seed that dropped. And all of this seems to be working pretty well. Okay, next thing we need. We're going to need a hole digger. So we'll just call this guy Stump Digger. And we're going to say to this guy, go pick yourself up a spade. And find a stump. And dig it out. Now, we're going to do that. While his hands are full, meaning he has the tool. Or until his hands are full, he's going to go get the tool, sorry. And then his hands are empty. Until his hands are empty, he's going to dig the stumps up. And we're going to want to do that forever. So go knock yourself out. Oh, before we do that, let's go ahead and change his radius in which he's working. And we only want him working in this particular radius right here. Okay, so he's going to go dig. So he's going to find any stump that is there and needs to be dug up and he is going to go dig it up. Let's go ahead and drop this spade off since I don't need it anymore. And I had an extra spade sitting here and I don't need that anymore. So let's drop that guy off. He's doing his job just fine. Last thing that we need is we need somebody to plant the new trees. So we're going to call this tree planter and we're going to tell him to go get seeds until his hands are full and then go plant that seed into a hole in a specific radius and he is going to do that until his hands are empty and he's going to do that forever. So now we have our forestry group. Here is our five foresters. We uh, made ten bots, so we've got uh, some bot official bot planning completed. And we now can make a crude wheel and a crude gear. We get a little commemorative slab there for that. And those items are made in the crude workbench. We don't need them right now, but they're made down here. We will be needing them soon. So when we need them, we will make more crude workbenches to produce those. So we just finished the forestry automation. I mean, not too bad. It's five bots to do the forestry automation. I mean, it doesn't run really quick. The bots are kind of slow at this point until we start getting the bot upgrades and we can start making them faster and smarter and be able to hold more. But we have our rechargers that are done. 
The only thing that I'm seeing here is that we're going to need at least one more recharger to cover this top area up here because nobody is in this top area uh, covering these. So if somebody happens to run out of power putting away stuff into the seed storage or they run out of power just like in this area right here, there's not going to be anybody to recharge them. So maybe make another, a third recharger and put him in that area up there so that we've got this whole area covered. But that is the first basic production lines. We need to focus on several things next to prep for the next production line, which is going to be our planks and our poles, and eventually we'll get our pegs. And so we want to get these two storages complete. So in the meantime, before I start the next video, I'll complete these storages. I'll also complete this other chopping block so that we're ready to go for the next video. All right, well, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Would love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below and make sure to hit that notification bell. That way, you know when I go live and when I post new videos. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.